watching Good Day Columbus on Fox 28. Ah, uh, boy, you can't have a fireworks display without that song. That's for certain. Little Bruce Springsteen there, born in the USA. With the 4th of July, tomorrow, I have uh, fox hairs all over my face. Tomorrow, there is something you can be doing this week to help the military families right here in central Ohio. And you might not know that. They do need some help. Colonel Julie Blake is with us from the Ohio National Guard. She's also the director of State Family Readiness and Warrior Support. And Sarita Long, Troop and Family Assistance Specialist at the Ohio National Guard. And they've joined us because we are having an event um, that I'm helping to coordinate, but that's separate from why we have decided that we want to help you. I think a lot of people, there is a misnomer, and I'll start with, with you, Colonel Blake, that um, you know, once you're in the military, you're set. And, and granted, there are a lot of services that are provided, but people are coming into really hard times. That's correct. Um, in Ohio, the, the largest um, number of uh, service members are actually in the reserve component between the National Guard and the, and the reserves. Um, and then there's about a million veterans. Uh, that call Ohio home. So if um, the only active duty base is at Wright-Patterson uh, Air Force Base, uh, so uh, the largest number of our service members here in Ohio are actually dependent on civilian jobs. Wow. And that's what we're struggling with is, is our overarching problem is essentially related to employment. And that leads to financial uh, stress hardships. and hardships. So if you're in the Guard, people don't probably know how that works. You're in the Guard. Are you, in theory, supposed to be able to come back to a job? How does that work? Th that's correct. Okay. Um, our 28 days a month are when we're in a reserve uh, status. Okay. Our service members are dependent on their primary income being a full-time job. Um, if we're in a deployment cycle, meaning we're getting ready to deploy, we're deployed, or we're just coming back from a deployment, uh -huh. oftentimes it's very difficult for them to find employment. Right. And that's what we're struggling with, is trying to kind of bridge that gap while soldiers, airmen, Marines, uh, sailors are all trying to find jobs. Wow. Uh, I had heard once figure somewhere like 70% uh, sometimes of what they used to earn, they can find themselves in situations like that. Does that ring true or is that high? We, we face the same challenges that the rest of the community okay. challenges it faces. Uh -huh. um, so some soldiers and airmen do better while they're deployed. Right. Some of them don't. Right. Um, again, it's just the, the root cause is that unemployment. We have a brigade combat team getting ready to come home after a year-long deployment. And we're going to see about a 30% unemployment rate. Wow. So we anticipate over this next four or five months having some short-term issues as these service members are trying to find jobs. And that trickles down and then you have families that are in great need that's and Sarita right. that's where you help out trying to get them some of the the different services or or some of their needs met so. That's right we assist um, service members and their families with information resources and referrals so a lot of times when the service members get deployed it's their family members that are home that are trying to hold down the fort and we just get the service members and families to the resources and referrals that they need. Well, you know, I'm not going to bandstand too much, but it honks me off <laughs> that they go and defend our country and give us these freedoms that we celebrate on the 4th, and they are struggling. That's true. That's true. During the holiday time, we have a lot of um, private organizations and individuals that step up and say, hey, we want to adopt military families during the holidays. But we also want to remind you know, individuals and organizations that we have families that struggle throughout the entire year, yes. not just during the holidays. So. Well, we have gotten together for an event, and we want you to join us. And we are going to do our best in the civilian status that we have to help our military. Um, but here is what we're going to do. It's called Back Our Troops. It is a donation drive through Sunday from July 8th, that's this Sunday, from 1 until 6 o'clock. Outside of Worthington Optimal Wellness, right through their parking lot, it cuts off the corner of Linworth and 161. We'll have the police there to help guide you through traffic. And all you need to do is just make a simple donation. We're asking you to help, and this will be used for different services. There's a foundation called the Callan Foundation, and what they will do is help to get the monies where they need to go. And sometimes that's as simple as... Uh, some utility help for people or maybe they need baby furniture maybe you know there are some grocery items or it could be even more financial assistance so we want to do our best to get as many cars through that that line as we can and if you can join us from one until six we'll be broadcasting live from there my cohorts from good day will be there as well um, 
The first 300 get a little tree sapling to plant in the name of a military person that you know, which is a pretty cool thing. We have a thousand pins, American pins, for you to take home with the American flag on them. And all kinds of other goodies. Roosters is going to have free wings from 1 until 3. We have free water, Avite. We have so much going on. And the VFW Auxiliary, I think, is having a bake sale. So all kinds of things you can stop at. We want it to be an event. And a big thank you to our military because, by gosh, they should not be coming back and struggling one iota. Make sure you tell them that, will you? <laughs> Thank you both so Thank much you. for being Thank here. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Happy 4th of July. Thank you. Same All to right. you. Back over to Lisa now. So Lisa, give us some good weather.